Hey guys, Jaden's Road Reviews here. In this video today, I will be unboxing and reviewing the Asus Vivo Book by Asus. To start, you could purchase this item for a total of $499, but I have seen this price go down to $479. As always, I will leave my affiliate links down below in the video description below. Prices do change, so keep that in mind. Also, I'd like to say that if you purchase any of the products in the description, I will receive a small commission. Without further ado, let's hop right into to the unboxing of the Asus VivoBook laptop. Lifting the lid, we have the Asus laptop in the middle and setting that off to the side. As you can see right here, we first have instructions right here, more instructions, power cable, and there you go. We have the three items with the Asus Vivo book. We have the laptop, the power cable, and the instruction manual. So the packaging is very short and simple. Now let's go take a look at the laptop as well as specs and other details to know about the Asus Vivo book. To begin, this is the Asus Vivo book 15. It is equipped with a 15.6 full HD display with an AMD quad core Ryzen 5 3500U. It has 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM, a 256 gigabyte SSD, and an AMD Radeon Vega 8 graphics. It weighs a total of 3.5 pounds, and it also has a 178 view angle. It is available in four unique finishes, slate gray, transparent silver, coral crush, and peacock blue. Right side of the laptop, the ports located are a micro SD slot, an aux port, a USB type C, an HDMI port, as well as a USB 3.0, and the power cable. On the left side, we simply just have two USB 2.0 ports. The Asus VivoBook 15 is equipped with a non-glare screen. On other laptops, they typically have a soft or glossy looking screen, which allows for much more glare, but with this laptop, that is not the case. The keyboard has a nice feel to it. The keys aren't too tall, they're not too small, they're just the right size, where it's easy to press down with your fingers and easily press the keys in and out. It also is a backwit with a LED which also makes the keys pop out, which is a very cool feature to have as well. Now the touchpad itself has an invisible left and right click. They are located at the bottom of the touchpad. The touchpad is very responsive and I personally love the feel that the touchpad has. The screen itself has good coloring to it, good saturation, and overall the clarity of the screen on the Asus VivoBook 15 is very clear and easy to see. Now the main question is, is this laptop worth under $500? Typically laptops that are under $500 have some sort of either performance loss or just a capability that you don't receive, such as not a big hard drive, or maybe the CPU isn't as strong, or not as much RAM. But in this case, we are equipped with a strong CPU and eight gigs of DDR4 RAM, as well as a 256 gigabyte SSD. Now keep in mind, you can buy external SSDs or hard drives to plug into any of the ports. In addition, you can also upgrade the RAM inside of this PC to give it up to 12 gigs of RAM. Now overall, my experience with this laptop has been absolutely amazing. I recommend it if you're maybe a college student and you want the Windows application and don't want to settle for a Chromebook because to be honest, I've never been a huge fan of Chromebooks. I'd rather have the capability that the Windows software has built into most computers that Chromebooks don't have. So if you're looking to spend money on a laptop that is a Windows laptop, I would go ahead and pick up the Asus VivoBook 15. It is a great laptop with great capabilities inside for simple use. And if you ever wanted to play games on this, this would be a great computer as well. Now, while it does have a Radeon Vega 8 graphics card in it, you're not going to be seeing insane amounts of graphical power with this computer, but with the strong Ryzen 5 CPU, you will see good graphics in game. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video and found it helpful to you guys and gave you guys a little idea on what this laptop is all about. If you did go on and to enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like on the video as well as comments if you have any questions about anything. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.